hotel. So last day, as I said, was super quick stay. And today we are going to do some shopping. Uh, since we're around the Rocks area, I'm going to check out the Louis here. Uh, and then also probably watch the Switzerland and then maybe get some lunch. So let's head into LV now. I think so. Mini couple scenes with the new chain. I really want a mini couple scenes, but I don't know if this is the right one. But the yellow's fun, isn't it? What do you guys think of this? I'm not sure about the one with. I like how it's got the card holder, but I, I don't know. I'm still a bit over the whole coin purse and all the extra bits. <laughs> Here are some of the earrings. These are quite nice. Just the costume jewelry. And then some of the studs. I just love the LV trunks. Just classic LV. I've got something similar, but I do really like it. Got all the detail. range it's a very small LV store here actually that's cute the Damier Ben version with the clear perspex on prompt oh here we go here's the key ball micro monogram you can definitely see everything inside though this backpack I don't think hubby would like that this is kind of cool though a bit of graffiti a bit of green so this is the extra small key ball. Then we've got the pochette. Luggage. Different versions of the key ball. Hubs, do you want a belt? No? What about this blue one? It's too cool for me. You're cool. Here are some of the bags on display. Nothing that new. I'm in between seasons at the moment, but I do like, I forgot what the name of this bag is, but I do like that bag. This is really cute. I used to own this, the Clooney, but this is in the smaller size. Oh, they have a mini pochette available in the Demia bin. And then the SLG. The new ones for the Celeste, I think. So it's got more. I like this one. This is the wallet. What do you think of it? You like it? So super convenient. We stayed at Four Seasons. Sorry guys, there wasn't that much in that LV. I didn't realize it was so tiny. So we're gonna head to Watches of Switzerland now. This one is quite a big one. And just check out some watches. So they have Omega here. Breguet. Hublot, which I think are very, very big. So what do you think of this? This is a 50 fathoms. Bathyscaphe from Blanc Pont. It's a bit big for me, it's 43. It minutes. actually doesn't look huge. No? You I wanted to try on the 38 mil, but they didn't have any. They didn't have any. See, I think this bang for buck is much better than the Submariner. Okay, I think I've met my match. This so is this, too big. This is too bad. So, too big. Too big. So this is like 45 mil. This is another Blanc Pont 50 fathoms. Not the Bathyscaphe, but this is the original diver. It's good to show different brands because I know Blanc Pond doesn't get as much airtime. So this is the JLC uh, Perpetual Calendar from the Master Ultra Line. This is a beautiful watch. 
It's in yeah, gold yeah, it's and it's got an uh, alligator strap. Look, I, think I mean, like this is pretty much their iconic dress watch, this one here. This was Very actually nice. made famous by the movie Doctor Strange, but that's not why I like it. It's just a beautiful watch. <laughs> it is a beautiful watch. Of course, they have some Cartier. Which one is your favorite line? I think just the tank, right? Santos? Santos is cool. I'm just, I just can't deal with the scratches. I mean, this one's a simple one. This is a Cartier Ronde, which is, just means round. It's a very simple watch. I mean, I still think out of all these ones, you can't get past the Tank Louis, which is in the gold. This is a Breguet Classique, the one on the right. That's probably one of my favorite Breguets. That's a beautiful watch. And that's the Classique at the top, which is the one I think is the best one. I think that's my favorite. Um, it's got the Guilloche dial. Uh, it looks quite beautiful. See, there's some of the ladies Speedmasters. And here we have some of the more classic Speedmasters. The only one that really interests me is probably the Chronoscope, which is the one up top there. It's a little bit more interesting. Do you know what? When you look at these now, they look so baby, like the size of the constellation. Obviously, they're ladies' watches, but they look so small now. But this really was the size that was popular back then. Back then. Back then. It looks I like, mean, like a 24, 26? Oh, probably. Maybe something like that. So, these are the Deville Trezor. Some of these are nice. This one in the pine green is not uh, too like bad. That green's nice, yeah. Yeah, and this one in the white silver so face is quite nice. So this is the Omega Seamaster World Timer. It's actually a lot of detail. If you look closely, mm. you can see the, the, the globe. A lot of work goes into that. It's a big watch though, but it kind of works. At least it doesn't extend beyond your wrist. That's true. Right? Yeah. It's quite a heavy watch too. It kind of feels like my Milgauss in terms of weight. It's what do you think? Blue. Do you like I, th it? I think it's different. It's different. It's that not, means no. It's not my favorite, to be honest. Okay. But I know you love blue, and I think it has a point of difference. But too much blue, right? No, it's not that it's too much Should blue. Should I show you a green watch? Okay, go on. Okay, so there you go. Olive green. What do you think? I like the olive green better, but this looks more like all your other watches. But the dial is quite interesting with the... It's a teak dial. It looks it's... like a boat. Oh, oh yeah, it does, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks like a boat. It's a nice colour though. It's a really nice colour, but you like olive, you're quite partial to olive too. But too many green watches now, right? No, it's not too many green, but I'm just saying like... But this is nice, this is a good everyday watch. I think this is a good everyday watch, and I think this is a good alternative to those of you... I mean, Omega is just as good quality as Rolex. Yes, if, if not, it's technically superior to Rolex. Really? I think so. People are going to get upset if you say that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> But it's nice. I actually like it. By the way, this is a Seamaster Aquaterra. Seamaster Aquaterra. Yeah. I like that, but a bit similar to everything that you have. Yes, too yeah. similar. Okay. So here we have the Omega Seamaster Diver 300. Pretty sure that's what it's called. The, titanium. It's in titanium. It feels really light. Guys, I felt it. It's seriously so light. It's I was like so quite surprised. Too. I'm surprised. So this is a Bond watch. Daniel Craig had a, uh, some influence in the design of this watch, but yeah. At least this one is different to what it's you different. do have. I don't know if you actually like it aesthetically, but it actually looks a bit different. Well, the asymmetry of it annoys me a little bit, but I mean, that escapement valve there is kind of cool, but that's iconic. They'll never get rid of that. Yeah. What do you think of the color? Brown? It doesn't look that brown on camera. It's like whether you like it or not. Not bad. I'm, I'm more interested in seeing what the new blue version of the new Bond watch looks like. Which is coming out soon. Soon. Okay. So this is the Panerai. It's an Italian brand of watch. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. But, but we're just going to try it on. It's so different. This is made out of uh, carbon. carbon. Layers of carbon, right? Carbo Carbotech. Carbotech. Which is trademarked to Panerai. <laughs> So, I mean, it's actually... It's big, it's but big, it's, it's not, not... crazy big. It's not crazy, crazy. And, I mean, the crown guard's unique to Panerai. Oh, yeah. That's super unique. Look yeah. at that. Okay, so this is another one in rose gold. It's a lot heavier than the one in Carbotech. What do you think? 
I think it's a little bit blingy for me. It's not blingy. It's not blingy. I'm trying to challenge Hubs here because I think that you can, I'm not saying necessarily this one, but a bit, bit of rose gold mix, I think adds because everything in his collection is either stainless steel or stainless steel. Or stainless, <laughs> it's either stainless steel or stainless steel. And I think having a precious metal, whether it's just a little bit of rose gold, um, it actually casualizes it when you have this, is it rubber strap? I think so. It looks like a rubber strap. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the Blanc Pong in with a tourbillon. And you can see the tourbillon moving just here. What's a tourbillon? A tourbillon <laughs> is... <laughs> a tourbillon is an old-fashioned way that they used to, to regulate the time, but it's actually not as accurate as a lot of the movements that are out now, but it but looks it's, visually amazing. Yeah, I, l I like how you can see all the mechanisms, that's what makes it look cool. And I'm guessing that this is some sort of enamel dial because anything this white has to be some sort of special material. It's simple, but it's not. It's simple, but it's not. <laughs> and the price is, the price is a lot. Chelsea, how much is it? 256000 <laughs> 286, Not bad, I guess. 286,000. Wow. So it's a very, very special watch. Hubby definitely need to try it on. Um, but I, I don't think this is the one for me, but I can appreciate it. Yeah, it's good to try on. And it's good to sort of, you know, show you guys the different variations that each brand sort of offers as well. Yeah. I love about the rocks area is that there's so many like art museums I mean we don't have time today but there's art aid so I think if you guys have more time definitely check out all the little art places contemporary art down the road there's Kendone as well I've been there before but we just don't have time to go explore this otherwise you guys know how much I love art but yeah they have a little they have the little store here as well but yes Lots and lots of art here. And then we've got the gnocchi and the zucchini flower. So we're just sharing this. It's a light lunch. It looks delicious. Okay, here we go. Here we're going to the Langer Boutique. A Langa Unzona. So let's go check out these watches. Okay, so this is the interior of the Langer Boutique. I believe it's like the second biggest. Um, I can't remember if they said in the world, but there is no stock. They have been so popular. This is such an underrated brand. It's one of Hubby's favorite brands. We are going to try a couple that they have but you know they have sold out but hopefully we can see more of this this brand is definitely one to watch it is made impeccably okay so we are at the langer boutique i think it's australia's only langer boutique correct yes there we go so I'm trying on a Saxonia Classic. This is a beautiful watch. It's a small watch, but you know what? It doesn't wear that that small. I feel like it's all right. I mean, you tend to prefer small watches anyway, but still. Actually, that's actually not too bad. Maybe because it's got the wide dial, so it makes it look yeah. slightly bigger. It's a very elegant watch. That's the right word, elegant. It's well, that's what I think. Not that I know heaps about watches, but. So you said this is a manual wine, is it? Manual wine. Manual yeah. wine. So you can see that it's got a lot of decoration on the back. Mm -hmm. And Langer's known for their German silver, right? That's right. So yeah. untreated silver on the neck. Yep. To like develop its own patina. Mm. Over time, yeah. So a beautiful watch. 
Beautiful. Is this in gold or rose gold? That's a pink gold. Pink gold. Pink gold. It's very subtle. It doesn't have that it much is. copper to it. So it's no. very... It's actually very nice. It's I feel like... It's interesting that you picked up on that because yeah, we always mention that to our clients that the pink gold because it, uh, it doesn't have as much copper, it's yeah. more of a warm It does, I like it. I like your pink gold very much. And this is the, there's another beautiful watch that, 1815, mm -hmm. up down. Up down, yeah. It feels like white gold. You're right. But I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it's platinum or white gold, but it looks like a beautiful watch as well. I mean, classic. They're both very classic looking. I mean, aesthetically, I think so. I mean, it's nice that they have just that touch in terms of, you know, the it's blue, isn't it? Yeah. These are blue fired hands. Yes. Yeah. So it's got the obviously the Arabic numerals. Um, I'm not a yeah. fan of Arabic numerals, but it's still a very pretty watch. And you can see the exhibition case back. So Lang is known for their amazing finishing. And you can see the detail right through there. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, last stop is Hermes. So I'm not allowed to film in Hermes, but I was allowed to take some pictures and I headed straight for the bag wall because they had so many gorgeous bags on display. And this is actually a new style that I've never seen before. It's called the Boucle Cellier bag. Boucle means buckle in French, and you can even see some embossed platin detail. So very interesting, as I've never seen one in real life. Next was this gorgeous B30. This is in Tadillac leather, very similar to box. I would say it's probably a bit more lustrous. And it's in the color, excuse me if I butcher my pronunciation, but I believe it's poussière, which means dust in French. A couple of stunning exotics, the first being the Ruli. This is in matte alligator and this stunning orange. I wouldn't mind adding a Ruli actually. And then also a Constance 18 in alligator as well. Here they have a Constance 18. This looks like it's in lime. And then this is a new bag, but it's actually based on a vintage design. It's called the Cadena Clutch, but I actually prefer the vintage versions. I was surprised they had a few Rodeos on display that was available for sale, but no, I didn't buy any because I actually have those two already, otherwise I may have. And then here is me trying on the Birkin Cargo in size 25 in this gorgeous two-tone. I would love a Birkin Cargo, but probably prefer the plain versions. And as you know, I love Wicker, so I had to try on the Garden Party in Wicker as well. Next is a bag I have seen before. It is also quite new. It's the steeple bag. I believe it comes in a 25 and a 28. And this is a mixture of canvas and leather and inspired by the writer's crop. So yes, very equestrian inspired. This was a humongous hack. I believe it was a 45. And then I do love the new store. The architecture is beautiful. So going downstairs, just checking out some of their shoes. I really did like these Kelly sandals, but the slingback strap didn't stay on my feet. Some new blinged up versions of the Orans. These shoes were very interesting with the heel detail. Not sure if it's my cup of tea. And then I think this is the Destin loafer with the fringe canvas. Not a huge fan, but I love the one on the right, which are the Paris loafers, which I own. And then some new versions of the Orans. You can see some fringing detail and of course the furry versions, which have been very popular. I did really like this Paris loafer with the enamel buckle and the mix of alligator. I would love to add another pair of sandals. I like these Kelly ones. I also quite like this new style. I think it's called the Gabby. Just a very good heel height and very simple. And this is Hubby just trying on a bomber jacket. He wasn't a fan. I thought it looked all right, but he said he's not cool enough for yellow. And this is just some of the gorgeous display in the men's section. One thing that he does really like are the Hermes sneakers. So he liked that gray and white one. But I think that if we do get it, we'll probably just get it back in Melbourne. So we just came out of Hermes Sydney flagship store. Gorgeous store. Finally had a chance to see it. Very busy because it just happened to be the new men's collection. Hold on a sec, guys. So anyway, as I was saying, beautiful store. So I will put that in of what products they had. Lots more than Melbourne, but it was a very busy store and very big store as well. 
So I think we pretty much have to go back to the hotel and head to the airport. So I will see you in a bit. Hi guys, so we're at Sydney Airport now. I am going to end the vlog here. The two days and a well, two and a bit days just felt so quick. But very grateful to have come up. I hope you enjoyed the shopping vlog. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.